Uh, we're gonna grab some more water, so uh, it's less likely that we'll have to filter. Not that there's anything wrong with filtering, it's just time consuming. Our filter's really, really good, but because it filters so much out, it just takes that much longer to pump it. Uh, John's phone's dying, so he's letting me use a selfie stick. Boy, howdy, I love this. Packing up after getting the water. Got some stuff down, probably depack. Show you some more of these trails. Just getting back up to the lake, we took the uh, the other way back. John's here. All through here, you'll find tucked up in the tree line uh, little campsites I can go to. Let's show you some examples. Of I affectionately uh, call it the redneck rendezvous. There's always trash back in here. They set fireworks off. They've carved up this tree. Christ loves J and J. Always a little something with them. I don't know where they got these rocks. There aren't a lot of rocks around here. This is another major area for people uh, to come camping. I like to call it hammock heaven. As you can see, there are just tons of trees everywhere. And then also, this place gets blown out with some wind. Another little campsite. You can tell there's people here who have been here recently, like leaving trash, of course. I think we called this one Hippie Haven. There's always a funny smell coming from it. Just got back to camp. It's getting some water in us. Getting some trail mix. Getting some snacks. So this is a prime example of dead and down. Some blown over big trees that we're cutting up here. Good thing to look at when you're cutting up wood. With the hardwood, because this, this is an oak. Yeah, the outside quarter inch or so is, you know, kind of rotten, but all that inside is still solid wood to burn. So even though it might look a little rotten, it still might be worth checking out because there could be a lot of wood hidden. All right, so we need, uh, we got up, sawed up a bunch of wood, brought it back to camp. Now we need to split it down in a little bit smaller pieces for kindling. You'll see us using birch bark as a fire starter a lot, uh, but you never want to take it from a live birch tree. You'll, you'll, you'll kill it. And you just, you know, you just want to start by, by shaving yourself a piece off. From there, you can just pull it in rings. So, you know, you crumble it up and they start to, they start to kind of come apart. Drew starts a fire with birch bark and spite. Come on. Come on. It's the spite. That's really what does it. Yeah man, we've just been processing firewood out, getting that firewood go getting that fire going. Sun's going down. Probably uh, get some dinner going in a little bit here. Got the uh, Italian size nor garlic and olive oil. Just put in the pan right there. The water was boiling. Cornbread's working its way through. So John's just whipping his sausage out. So put it on the grill. These are pre-cooked, so you know, you know, we're just heating them up. This is what we got, some noodles and sausage. It's actually pretty good. Uh, Dinner is getting all cleaned up. Probably gonna get the fire a little warmer, hang out for a minute. Probably try and be in bed by 11 so we can be up a little earlier. Just letting the fire die down. Uh, beautiful moon the last few nights. When it's cleared up. Hard to get pictures of. How are you feeling, John? Feeling pretty good. No, the wind really died down. You can actually hear the big lake now. It's the official temperature record before. Oh, it might have gone up a little bit. I'll call it 24 again, I guess. Sounds like the wind's starting to pick up a little bit. It's the end of day number two here in the Manistee National Forest. 
Uh, but it was a good day. I uh, look forward to uh, go checking out this other uh, camping spot a little up the lake. Uh, but we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Probably time to get up and start the day. My butt agrees. Sun's up. Can't survive the night. Pack up our base camp stuff and take it back to the car. Uh, we're going back a day early, which means tomorrow, not today. John's car is making that funny noise and we'd really like to have him get it checked out. Gorgeous morning though. We got some swans out on the lake. You probably can't see them, but... Yeah, once we get the base camp stuff back to the car, we're going to uh, grab the stuff for our light packs, our sleep systems and stuff, some extra food, uh, and then head off up the coast on our journey. Country road, take me home to that place where I belong. trying to not have to hike out a cast iron pan so this time we're gonna try pie plate coated in lard uh, on the grill on the fire try this out Thicker might be better for our uh, current scenario. Right. Easier. Spoon might be easier. Yeah, I think holding the pan. Oh, yeah, look at that. That is our first successfully flipped trail pancake. High five. We're just going to make a few more pancakes and then get back with you guys when we hit the trail, man. We're just hiking out all the trash we pulled out yesterday and the table and the extra tarp and tarp poles and all the heavy stuff we don't want to have to deal with. Gonna hit the trail with those trail tunes, man. We'll catch you guys at the car. Batteries are done. Uh, we'll check in after our batteries are charged. All right, guys, we've been out here for a couple hours and we still got plenty of time right now to uh, get back, pack up, and uh, head up the beach. Just getting our packs back on, filled up our water, down to about three gallons in here. It is it may actually be faster to uh, hike out to the car and grab our water than to use our little pump. Uh, but we're going to get into camp, pack up our stuff, and then get back with you when we're hiking again. And now we play the cleanup song. We're just taking our bags off so we can take our raincoats off. It's getting warm. Only got a couple miles left to the waypoint. Uh, watch says we should be there in about 40 minutes. What a great lake! It's so big! Now, you'll notice if you look, you can't see Ludington, you can't see Chicago. It's because the earth is curved. Uh, there's a river up here. We might have to cross. It might be frozen, might not. Crossing this little river, hiking the beach. This is what we came here for. The wind is actually better here than it was at our campsite. All right. We're hitting the tree line now. We hiked a couple miles on the beach. Now we're going to head back up into the forest again. Now that we're back into National Park land. So this is essentially what we hiked in to see. A fire ring. It is the only one you will find in this area. Affectionately referred to as Ramona's Retreat. Can't give you a precise location because we're not precisely sure where we are have some waypoints to follow but let me tell you that fire ring would have uh, been quite a journey to get out here part of the adventures 
going places you haven't been or doing something you haven't done. Seeing things that others tell you about, man. All right, we made it to the place we're going to camp. The lake's still right there. We're just uh, on the other side of the dunes. So technically, you can't camp on dunes. So we're going to pick a couple prime trees. Set up the hammocks with the tarps probably facing the lake to block out most of the wind and uh, probably get some fire going, get some wood going, eat some food. So sometimes you get a big piece of wood like this and you won't have a saw or you won't have the energy to saw and you still want to burn it. Uh, and a lot of people will just try and burn through the middle but it's really inefficient, it takes a lot of heat. Uh, so we just find a V in a couple trees, use your leverage. Some wood, getting some bark ready. Got a good base so we're not on any of the wet, wet or cold ground. It's always good to start with something down here. Even if the ground is dry, it's still better to give yourself something else to get the fire going. The drier the wood is, the better. I should get out of this fire hole now. Just got our pot on there with some water, trying to bring it to a boil for some hot chocolate. Uh, and then once this fire's down to its ashes, we'll uh, boil more water and make us some dinner. Mac and cheese. Man, I love this stuff. I don't. I pretty much only eat mac and cheese on the trail now, uh, and it's just delicious. Mm-hmm. Makes it awesome. Nice warm fire. We've been staying up too late. We gotta get an earlier start. It feels like it's warmed up a little bit. John and I are just, you know, hanging out by the fire. Uh, we're probably gonna go to bed early since it's gonna start snowing tomorrow morning. We would like to be out of here before it gets too blown out. Getting ready to uh, let the fire die down. Put her out and uh, hit the sack. So our plan is to wake up at 9, spend an hour, you know, eating something, break camp, and then get hiking up the beach before it gets real bad. <sighs> but I'm beat. Night, guys. All right, guys, it's about 9 a.m. Uh, it is windy. I don't know if it's that cold, but it is certainly windy. I haven't checked the snow situation yet, but uh, we're going to get up, get going, get some breakfast, uh, and pack our stuff up. Good morning, good morning, we talked the whole night through. Good morning, good morning to you. We checked the site, got all our trash out, didn't have a lot of trash, don't hike in a lot of trash, don't have to hike out a lot of trash. Uh, we're going to have to go down this quite this hill uh, I don't recommend using selfie sticks on hills so so that's what we just came down leaves are hazardous gorgeous really hope it doesn't get blown out it's one of two rivers we're gonna have to cross feeds right into Lake Michigan it's not bad it's a little deep to just wait it we are, uh, at the second river, we just cross this, take one of those boardwalks up to the Lake Michigan rec area. We packed off, had a little sitter on these benches, attempted to use the facilities, but they were locked. So we're just gonna hike the last few miles to the car. Say goodbye to the beach. Say bye to the beach, it's so pretty. Just getting back up to the little lake. Started to snow and blow. About right at noon, like they said. It's still just light right now, but I don't want to be here when it gets worse. Look at that lake, though. That's why we come here, man. Just coming up on the car. There are some people out there who would say, you know, oh, seven miles, why even hike anywhere? And there are some people who would say, why the hell would you hike seven miles to go camping? So, you know, we fall somewhere in between the two. I think right. that's a healthy median. I'm gonna cram the last few things in and ourselves. Uh, and then hopefully the adventure mobile makes it home. All right. Don't know if you can see it, 
a welcome fisherman sign is like the Michigan symbol for, hey, we don't care what you're wearing, we don't care what you smell like, come on in and give us your money. We just got back to our apartment, uh, we're gonna unpack all of our stuff, we had a pretty good trip. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching, thank you. Thanks for watching, guys.